Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that New Zealand's biggest listed company, Fletcher Building, has come out with slightly better than expected results for the first half year. Profit was down 10%, but that was better than many analysts had forecast, and its shares rose. There's a couple of things going on here. The construction market in New Zealand, particularly for hospitals, roads and stadiums, is going quite strong at the moment. And also Fletcher Building's Laminex division, which has been a problem, is starting to turn around. Meanwhile, overnight, PGG Wrightson, Fisher & Paykel Finance and Manchester United Credit Union all got credit ratings from Standard & Poor's. Remember, all non-bank institutions have to have a credit rating by March the 1st under the new Reserve Bank rules. PGG Wrightson and f and Finance both got double B credit ratings, and that's just enough to make sure they can apply for the extended government guarantee scheme. Now that scheme kicks in from the middle of October this year and is designed to last until the end of 2011. The Napier-based MUCU, however, only got a B-plus rating, and that's not enough to be in the extended scheme. And finally, overseas, the United Kingdom's jobless rate rose sharply, and it rose by the most since the middle of 2009. The Bank of England is still printing money, but it's agreed to stop printing money and not to expand it. The US Federal Reserve has come out with minutes showing that it's talking more and more about withdrawing some of its stimulus for the global economy and for the US economy, and looking in particular to sell some of the bonds it bought up during that panic time in 2008 and 2009. This would soak up cash, but also increase interest rates. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ.